Welcome back, Duck fans. My name is Rob Coolish, and uh, we're here for episode two of our men's swimming video blog. Uh, Joe Hewitt, sophomore men's swimmer. Joe, thanks for yes, spending the time again. Um, you guys are coming off a pretty good win, off you know, convincing win over Misericordia, if you will. Um, eight different winners. What's it like to kind of have a, such a versatile team, and you know, where does that kind of put you when you start looking, you know, ahead to the championship season? Well, it, it's really great that. You know, you look at any event, and we have more than one person that could probably go and win that event in our dual meets. Um, you know, it's, it's really good having that depth, especially when it comes down to relays. Um, you know, we can field an A relay and a B relay most of the times that are competitive in our conference. Um, so going forward, you know, into the championship season later this year, that, that definitely gives us a lot of confidence going into the meet. Um, you guys, the, you, you had a 16 event. Um meet against Montclair, then you had 14. You guys have had the top time in 29 of 30 events. Um, how do you stay focused during the meet if you, you know, I don't want to say it's so, it, it looks easy, but I mean, I've been there for both of them. It looks easy. <laughs> well, uh, our coaches are really big on um, being in the right mindset during a meet. You know, we get breaks during the meet where um, they emphasize getting back in the pool, warming up, warming down, making sure that, you know, you get up and give 100% in one event. By the time your next event comes up, you need to be ready to give 100% again. So that's a big emphasis on our team. Um, last kind of question before we get into, I guess, the theme of today, if you will. But um, you now have some time off, and we were talking a little earlier um, about shaving and tapering mm -hmm. and things like that. Um, you said last week was extremely hard. This week is extremely hard. Then you guys kind of rest up a little bit. Yep, yep. Looking forward to the ECACs. Uh huh. Um, so it, it's actually really cool because since we've been all swimming really fast um, up through this point in the season, now looking ahead to shaving and tapering for ECACs, we're expecting some pretty big time drops. Um, it'll be cool to see. Uh, you know, last year we had um, John Hu, Alex Benham, Evans, you know, a lot of uh, individual qualifiers. And this year we could be putting up a lot more um, on top of the relays that qualified. So hopefully if we get some of those times at our winter championship meet, then, you know, we don't even have to think about it at, in the spring. Um, now the ECAC is December 12th, or December I think 2nd through the 4th, mm -hmm. um, so you guys got a lot of time there, so we'll kind of talk about that as, as we lead up to that a little bit more. Now, um, we're going to do a little bit of a, almost, I guess if you don't want to take it from David Letterman, almost like a Stevens top 10, so I, I said to Joe, uh, I believe Saturday morning before the meet, I emailed him and I was just like, you know, maybe we can do a Stevens top 10, your top, you know, your favorite, 10 favorite things about Stevens, so. You know, I see you guys right, have a little bit of a list. I don't know if you need to refer to it. Back up plan. All right. You're, you're, you're <laughs> all you. Okay. Uh, no particular order here, but my top ten favorite things about Stevens would be uh, Pierce. Definitely. All you can eat food all the time. Can't go wrong. Um, it's great exploring New York City. You know, if you don't have anything to do, you just go walk around and you'll find something you never saw before. Guaranteed. You know, it's such a big place. Um, Another thing would be the, the career development resources here. Um, so even though I'm only a sophomore and I haven't actually gotten any work experience yet, I've already met with um, you know, people in career development several times. You know, they've, they've gone over my resume, they've done a lot of things for me already before I'm even looking for a job. So you know, going into the future, I know that's going to be a great help. Um, let's see. I don't have to cheat. You cheat. Go ahead. Right. I would have to cheat. I'd cheat on you. Know, oh, cheat here, so. the view. You know, if you don't know what I mean, you got to come see it for yourself. It's pretty fantastic. Um, so Hoboken, now for me, almost everything revolves around the food. So <laughs> you know, Hoboken is one of the greatest restaurant towns anywhere. Um, so that's a big plus. Um, oh, the 2 a.m. library club. So <laughs> one of the cool things about Stevens is that, you know, everybody here is working hard. You know, there's no real easy major, depending on who you ask. But, um... You know, everybody has work to do. If you're staying up till 2 a.m., you know, working on an assignment, studying for a test, whatever, you're not the only one. You know, everybody's going through the same thing. Um, another thing is being the Ducks. Good mascot. It's great for puns. There's only two in the uh, two in the country. I <laughs> That's believe. right. And uh, you know, like our money system, the duck bills. You can't you can't really beat that. It just uh, I don't think so I would have well. thought of that one. <laughs> um, what else we got here? Oh, the swim team. No say. Gotta love this one, team. Can't go wrong. <laughs> um, snow days. So, you give a couple hundred engineers a snow day, it gets pretty interesting. 
So last year there was a fort with uh, an arch over the doorway and everything. That was pretty cool. I did see those snowman <laughs> forts. I mean, ridiculous, ridiculous things. Um, and probably actually, I know I didn't rank them, but this would be number one, is the community here at Stevens. Now, before I came here and after I came here, you really get a sense that like everybody um, in administration, the professors, the coaches, everybody here wants you to be here and wants you to succeed, which I think is probably the best thing about Stevens for me. Uh, I think that's I think that's a pretty good list. I think uh, your cl nah, yeah yeah your classmate Luis I think shot a tough time top in that list. Um, but no, Joe, thanks for the time. Um, no problem. Man. Next weekend, uh, next Monday, we'll be right back here with episode three um, for all your latest on Stevens swimming. Uh, visit stevensducks.com.